I had some people saying this wasn't worth 13000 You guys look at what we did and tell me if it was worth it or not. Oh, I almost killed him. We transformed this room right here. The living room also got speakers too. Y'all must not know who y'all dealing with. We did the whole patio as well. Oh, we ain't done yet. And we're going to do the master bedroom. In the media room, we're going to do 5.1. Now, don't forget, all these prices are going to include all the materials and this 85-inch TV. For the amp, we're using a 7.2 Denon, which is going to control all five of these speakers in the second zone of speakers outside. That's everything we're using today. What makes this system so cool is you can watch a movie in here and play music outside for zone two. At the end of this video, this house is going to end up with 14 speakers. Or if you want to, you can play all these speakers at the same time. The media room and the patio were wired by the builder. But if you keep watching, you'll see us wire the living room and the master, I mean, the primary bedroom. I know how y'all be crying. Now, out here, we're going to do two speakers and a drop-down motorized mount. Right here, I'm identifying the joist. Definitely don't want to cut one of those. Now, you see it's pre-wired with that plate right there. But where we're putting that motorized mount at, it's going to cover that hole. So we're just going to move both of these inside. Pause, just in case. The difference between a 5.2 dinner and a 7.2 dinner is right at 100 bucks. So for just $100 we're able to control and have this second zone. That plug needs to come out and get moved behind the TV right here. Once we get this hole made, we're gonna send the glow rod up there, pull the old roll mesh from where the old plug was, and then we're going to tape the new, well, not the new wire, but that wire right there to that and then pull it through. Our plug is going to get moved here and then we're just going to blank plate the old hole over there in the corner. Let's start the living room. 16-2, 16-4, 16-4, 16-4 to the bedroom. Pause, just in case. Move this big ass piece of furniture. Johnny's going to send the fish tape down to the bottom right there. That's the fireplace right there and this is all the attic space we got to work with. Take our paddle bit, cut through. Once we do that, I'm going to send the fish tape all the way down to Johnny. He's going to retrieve the fish tape, tie all five, no, all four of them speaker wires to that. And then we're going to pull that back up. He take forever. Come on, hurry up. Tape them up. <clears throat> Sorry about that, ladies and gentlemen. We had some technical difficulties. All right, the center channel speaker is going to go right there. One, two, three studs over. Then we're going to put the other speaker over there. How do we get the wires up to the attic? We're going to drop the center channel speaker first. And then this is the wire that's going to go all the way over there to the master. I mean, the, the primary bedroom. Pull a little bit more slack. Throw that right there. Throw it on the other side, pause just in case. That's our front right, our rear right, and then we have some trouble with that one. I'm gonna show you how we're gonna do that though. This is the wire for the rear left right here. Now all these wires need to go through that Smurf tube down to the bottom where the receiver is gonna be. Find the joist first, trace our speaker cut, and then I'm gonna use this rod right here, pull up, no diddy. And then now we're gonna take that broom and sweep every single location. That way when we cut, it makes it really easy. I'm sure people are gonna be like, you the little cutter thing, I don't like it. Okay, I do things my way. Put two cuts in here for the master bedroom. That's gonna show me exactly where everything is lined up at in the master bedroom. This first speaker is pretty easy. We got the wire there, everything is ready. Uh, then we're gonna measure the distance between both of these because I want them at the same. Look, look at my little calculations right there. We want these the same distance apart. So now, once we get this cut made, watch, I'm gonna take this paddle bit and make a hole. Center tunnel's done. Now we're gonna let brother Johnny take over. I'd be having so much fun. Watch this. Ah! This is our 16-4 wire. We got two wires for the front, and then we got two wires for the rear speaker. I hope y'all appreciate these damn camera angles. This take a lot of time. Why I, Why does he stand? Like, what is he doing up there? I, hey, that ain't none of my business. Y'all remember that hole I made with the paddle bit for that front left speaker? We're going to take that wire, put it through there, and now we can finish up on that front left speaker. Now that the front three are done, let's move to the back speakers. We're going to cut these from the attic. Just to let y'all know, this wasn't supposed to happen like this. I know getting hit by that phone. Oh, look at the hands. I know he getting hit by that phone hurt. All right, so we're going to wrap up that speaker right there. Cut the other one. This time, hopefully, we don't make no mistakes, which I don't think. No, we ain't dropped this one. If I'm cutting from the attic, I'll go ahead and splice the wire for him. That way, it makes his job a whole lot easier. Those two are in. Now it's time for the massive bedroom. We're going to trace both of these first. Y'all going to let me make it. I be trying to say both of them, but it... I, I feel like my tongue too big when I say both of them. It's just easy to say both of them, okay? Let me make it. Mm, almost there, y'all. We gotta put the TV back up, push this heavy ass entertainment center back, and that's it. How it sound? Right. We did it. <laughs>
And we also dropped the TV and fixed that wire right there. The adjustable ceiling mount right here. Tell me what y'all think. This is something that y'all want at y'all house. Let me know. If you can't afford it, mind your business. Wait the pounds, bro. Wait. Oh my god. <laughs> Watch your ankle. Oh. oh <laughs> you threw it right at my ankle. <laughs> Watch your ankle, though. Pop. <laughs> Talking about the, the tip. Huh? The heat. No. Got six of them. Huh? Like I feel like. Hey yo. So maybe we do it the same time, boss. 